Meet the Window Cranes. In April 2010, the crane pair soared into Homer, Alaska to stake their territory right in front of our picture window. This privately owned area at the end of Skyline Drive is Inspiration Ridge Preserve. In Homer, many crane pairs select nest sites near homes with humans they can trust. Caring neighbors help cranes avoid predators like dogs, coyotes, bears, and bald eagles. When the cranes return next summer, they will already know where the nest will be and where to find food. Now that is planning. The following summer, on April 28, 2011, the window cranes returned. By May 9th, between patches of snow, they laid one egg in their island nest. A day later, a second egg was laid. The eggs hatch about 30 days after being laid. Cranes trade nesting duties. While one incubates the eggs, the other searches for food. Holding grass and twigs in their beaks, these clever cranes paint their feathers with rust-colored mud that helps hide them from predators. Only a few days after hatching, these gangly fuzzballs, called colts, are able to walk long distances with their parents. The young will stay with their parents until they return to the territory next year. Then, 
they get the boot so the parents can nest again. Sorry kids, an unexpected vol snack is too good to pass up. In the evening, the parent's low purring call coaxes the downy colts to swim to the nest. Nutritious snacks for these fast-growing chicks include worms and more worms, but also fish, insects, and tadpoles. Worms are likely their most important high-protein source. Young colts are constantly exercising their wings in preparation for flight.
looks like the colts are outgrowing the bed under mom's wings. On warm days, the cranes feed in shallow ponds, catching tiny fish, freshwater snails, frogs, and even sticky leeches. Feeding hungry, growing colts is a never-ending job. A colt can eat more than a hundred worms in a day. Sandhill cranes are ancient birds with fossil records from several million years ago. To confuse predators, these cranes often change the location of their nighttime roosts. One evening, 
Two loose neighborhood dogs attacked the family at this roost site. The traumatized family was scattered and were not reunited until the next morning. Keeping dogs home is critical to sandhill crane nesting success and conservation. Around Homer, many people put out cracked corn for cranes nesting near their homes. In their Sacramento, California wintering area, corn stubble and waste grain fields are essential for cranes' survival. The window cranes make the rounds on their territory all day. Eating corn is just one element of their varied diet. The cranes know that going close to trusted humans will protect them if a bald eagle suddenly appears. After the eagle passed overhead, the cranes went right back to feeding. Sadly, two days after the dogs attacked the family, the younger colt disappeared. The window cranes spent hours in front of the house and fiercely defended this important part of their territory. The male even tries to chase away his reflection, but never succeeds. Here, close to their special window area, they preen, rest, and feed. A 
few days after the younger colt disappeared, the whole family vanished. Where they went is a mystery. Miraculously, several weeks later, the family of three flew back into the yard. Flying to make the rounds is so much easier than walking. While the mature colt can now find much of his own food, he won't refuse a snack from his parents. In the fall, cranes begin gathering in larger pre-migration flocks. A few cranes showed up on Inspiration Ridge Preserve but the male aggressively chased off these intruders. Between chases, the colt had dancing lessons. After all, he needs to learn how to act around other cranes.
but there was still time for lazy family activities. Migration day is approaching. The window cranes tried to maintain their spot in front of the window when larger flocks showed up. Finally, with 90 cranes in the yard, the family reluctantly joined the group. The flock is getting restless and springs into spontaneous flight. This is known as migrational unrest. Even the goose who thinks he's a sandhill crane flies with them. Each night, the family flies off to a roost somewhere north of their territory, returning early the next morning. When the cranes gather in a large flock, many dance behaviors occur. 
Dances take various forms. Wing flapping, bowing, jumps, throwing sticks or plants in the air, and are not always done for pair bonding. Sometimes cranes dance to avoid a fight. Cranes also dance alone. They might be trying to attract a mate or just practicing their dance moves. The window cranes and the flock of 90 are getting ready to migrate. Nervous chatter, dancing, bathing, squabbling, and feeding continue. It is time for the Crane family to say goodbye. On September 17, about mid-morning, the weather was right. A northwesterly tailwind and good visibility. The birds assemble, face one direction, and take wing. Fading into the distance, their trumpeting calls signal summer's final symphony as their 2,400-mile journey south begins. <laughs>